So when to use a while loop and when to use a for loop. We learned how to convert between those two and we're now kind of confused when to use either one of those. Well, it depends on the context. It depends on the context of a problem. Let's find out through this example. So we have here a an array of characters, a string of text. So it says hello world, right? And I want first a program that prints every single character in this um, in this survey, right? So we're going to use a for loop. Simple enough to do this. So I'm just going to start int i for i equals zero, i less than well, less than what? Less than to find out the length of a, a string of text, we can use a function from uh, string dot h right here called strlen, strlen of text, and that just spits out the length of the text that we're giving it, and i plus plus. All right, and we want to just print character by character, so print f percent c, and let's say space, so I, so we know that we print it character by character, and then we get text of i. And simple enough. If we compile and run this, you'll notice that we got hello world, right? So we got space in between every single one of those and space in between uh, two spaces because the space, that space is from the string itself. That's nice. All right, so that's when you want to use a for loop. When you want to iterate over the whole array, usually you're going to use a for loop. But let's say you want to all only print out the first word in this string. Well, that's when a while loop can become useful. All right. So I could do, I could do it all in a for loop, but it will be much simpler to understand if it's done in a while loop. So let's find out how to do this. Um, so we're going to have to start with a while and while what? While, let's say, text of i is different than space, right? So the character space. And I also have to initialize i, let's not forget about that, as we learned in the past. And that's, the, that's our condition, no longer our comparison between i and the length of the text. And then in between uh, brackets, we just kind of copy and paste this here, and we also increment i. Let's see what happens if I do this. But beforehand, let's just add a new line here. All right, so as you'll notice, we got only hello printed on the console, right? Using a while loop. So you can translate this while loop into a for loop, and you can translate this, a, this for loop into a while loop, but in our case, um, having them like this, it's much easier to understand, right? Usually a for loop is used when you want to iterate over the whole array, right? A while loop is used when, like, when there's something that just stops the iteration or stops doing something over and over, right? In our case, we stopped iterating, we stopped going through the string once we hit a uh, space, right? A space character. So that's, that's how you use a uh, while loop versus a for loop. That's, that's when you have to use them. It doesn't really matter. Um, the program is gonna run <laughs> well either way, but it's easier for us programmers to understand, right? So that's why we have both a for loop and a while loop. All right, I hope you understand um, how this works and why I have applied the for and the while loop in here as is right now. Thanks for watching.